Children's Crusade. News have reached us that a boy from Corunia has received a visit from the Holy Ghost. I guess at the, uh, what's it called, the um, uh, Santiago de Compostela uh, place, because this is the, like the end of the the uh, the Santiago uh, route. Oh, what's it called in English? Saint Jacob. So it's it's the big pilgrims route, which which goes from north of uh, of Europe to like. Uh, around the, uh, uh, at the coast here, and then here is, is the remains of Saint. What, what's his English name? Saint Jacob, I think so. He's one of the uh, one of the disciples of Jesus, and it's like a very big, very popular pilgrimage. So my, my my mother walks it, but she doesn't do it in one go. She walks like a like a week, and then she goes back home, and then she walks a week a year later. Anyway, uh, Saint Saint Jacob gave Bermudo. Uh, a, a vision, apparently, compelling him to pick up arms, gather the true followers of Christ, and lead a crusade against the infidels who desecrate the sacred soil of Jerusalem. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. Uh, is our granddaughter still the, the queen? No. No, she's the Bayan of Hebron. Is she a vessel of... Yeah. She's a vessel of the Seljuks. Okay. <laughs> Interesting twist. Barracks have been built in Alkmaar. Okay. Yeah, so... I might... Ah, let's see. Let's see for a while. It kind of depends on uh, how long it will take before my army is fully replenished. But uh, I think we will end the episode once we conquer a piece of Tuscany. If we are still able to. Pick an ambition. Uh, I see the one prosper, whatever. Like I said, you know, this guy's arc is more or less over. He um, he did what he wanted to do. You know, his, uh, the Prince Ono of Frisia. All right, my my, uh, my son. All right, that's quick. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Rurikit Bride. Who has a strong claim on the kingdom of Novgorod. Yeah, I, yeah, we, we, could, we could press it, I guess. <laughs> oh, the kingdom. Where's the kingdom? Kingdom of Novgorod, right. Okay, so it's tiny. <laughs> and he lacks funds. I think in reality, although that might be later, but in reality Novgorod was a, uh, a republic, I think, for a while. It's uh loses trade. Stressed. Oh, finally. <laughs> Your precious cat has the ability of always knowing when you are in need of comfort. Appearing as if out of nowhere, only to jump on your, up on your lap and purr softly to your gentle stroking. Did I gain a cat? I, I didn't didn't notice. Hmm. I guess I was talking about uh, other things. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace, Zeeland is doing well. Okay. The son was born to Prince Otto again, and Vila David's daughter. Okay. Gottfried Otto's son. Okay. Another grandchild. <laughs> Look at our grandchildren. You know we got we got so many grandchildren. Goedendag, Mr. Quarters. Ever since the ragtag army of Bermudo has reached Holland, I have received no shortage of complaints from Bishop Klauwaert of Dokkum, I guess, yeah. Uh, complaining uh, about how heretical this crusade is and how I should make an example of its young leader to prevent my subjects from falling to his sinful words. Nah, come on. Would we do that? No, I don't think so. We're, we're, we're charitable, we're kind, even. No. It does not concern, we could concern ourselves with them, shall we? But he's the chosen of our Lord. Oh, we gain the trade sellers. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I would I would say he's the chosen of our Lord, because I would say that my my grandchild should be the uh, the Queen of Jerusalem and not him. On the other hand, you know. Anything to help my grandchild. And we got quite a bit of money. You know what? You know what? Sure. He's the chosen of our Lord. We're going to help him. But sometimes he does win, huh? <laughs> I don't think he will win this time because Seljuks are way too strong. Arrange betrothal. Oh, you. You do not look good. <laughs> Severely injured, infirm. But he's been, he's been the king of France for a long time, I think. Yeah, 20 years, 20 plus years. 
And we approached the Prince Amédée of France and the Princess a fan of Frisia Mary. Yeah, okay. Is he your uh, your son? Yes. Is he the heir? No. Can we not marry? Oh, he's already married. He's got a hair lip. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's always a revolt going on in England. Let's let's uh, let's have a look at that. Let's put it on speed four for a while. What uh, what happened in England? The Knights Templar. Okay. That, uh, hmm? Gimena. He's Portuguese or something. Yeah. Castilian. What the hell? Yeah, we had uh, the Godwins for a while there. We had uh, Edmund who ruled for an impressive uh, 25 years before he died. And then we had uh, Radwulf, who didn't rule for very long. He was murdered on the orders of Edbald of English Revolt, this guy. Oh, he is revolting right now. Okay. And then we had Rodrigo who inherited it. He did, regular, he did the regular inheritance? Okay. How does, how does that work? So this guy died. And then I guess it went... Ah, yeah, yeah. So it went through his eldest sister. And then to her oldest kid. So this is this guy is the legitimate ruler of, uh, of, of England. <laughs> I did not expect that. But, you know. That's because I think, yeah, so they, they are kings of Navarra. And also, I think, a couple of other kingdoms in the... No, it's just Navarra, okay. Oh no, <laughs> here we go, Fernando the Great. King of uh, Castile, of Galicia and of Leon. King Sancho. Yeah, yeah, so this is the uh, the brothers that you play in 1066. You can play uh, either of these three. Uh, the king of uh, yeah, Asturias. And then uh, Alfonso of Leon Castilla Galicia. And this guy, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's from that family. Cool. What about France? I think France has been relatively stable. Oh, he inherited the hairlip guy. He's the yeah, the son of you and who is the brother of Philippe, who is the guy you play as first. Oh, I guess the bewitched. Okay, I guess uh, he did have sons, but County of Ghent, yeah. I don't know if we will have an opportunity to, to grab them, because the Holy Roman Empire is, I think, doing fairly well. There's no major revolts going on anymore. Uh, how about our our army? Yeah, it's, it's more or less there. What's his army strength? Oh, okay, we can easily take him. We can easily take him. Okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. Do we want Tuscany or do we want Spoleto? But it was only one county. Okay, or do you want Abruzzo? Abruzzo is this area. I think uh, I would go for the big one, eh? to, to Tuscany. Why not? Does this guy have any any big allies? I don't think so. County of Brescia, uh, whatever. That's not important. Uh, let's claim Tuscany for our wife. There we go. <laughs> let's do it. Let's go for it. Raise all our all our vessel levies. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly check because I was. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So I'm at this time. I'm now publishing uh, episode six <laughs> right now. So uh, then you know what time it is now. <laughs> if you get a notification. Uh, then you know. <laughs> the barracks have been built. Uh, let's put stables. And then I'm going to go back to check on OBS because, you know, I don't know if you remember, but uh, we had uh, quite a frustrating episode uh, a few episodes ago. Okay, let's go to Tuscany. Let's go, buddies. We can do it. We can call in allies. He's in Trude of Saxony. Yeah. Let's call her in. I think we lost a couple of other allies. We were not as strict on it since we are out of the uh, HRE. We don't need them as much. Although, yeah, having said that, that's not really true, is it? Is this, is this a premise lead still? Yeah, he is. Why can we not uh, ally him? We're not close enough now. Yeah, we are. Our, 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 uh, our wife is still a premise lead. 
but I guess, uh, yeah, so this is Ota the Handsome, he was our ally for a while, but he died uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> okay. And now someone else is uh, is the ally. Okay, it's the, uh, the King of Bohemia. Of course I will honor my obligation and answer your call to arms. Okay. I mean, probably uh, Flores convinced her, right? Yeah. What about the Duchess of Brandenburg? Maybe she wants to join as well. Non-aggression pact. Alliance. Call to arms. Maybe, okay. Good enough for me. Yeah, she does, okay. Who else do we have? Because I think we have quite a bunch of... Uh, of powerful daughters-in-law, right? Hugo the Loyal, she's the Duchess of Brandenburg, yeah. She is the... Oh yeah, she's not really very relevant. She is the Havid's daughter. Oh yeah, she is my, my vessel's uh, family member. And he is... Oh yeah, he's the... The Count of... The King of Novgorod, but he... Yeah, he's got like 400 troops. We don't care about him. Alright. Let's do it. We're back at war. The unmoving sea. Oh yeah, he's also still going. Bermudo claimed that the tides of the Mediterranean Sea would split open at the arrival of his army, allowing his warriors to cross unscathed and march all the way to the Holy Land. Unfortunately, the Lord did not fulfill the promise made to the young crusader, and now the large force of peasants and children languishes in Genoa, looking for a way to travel to Asia. Some of the less determined members of the crusade have already lost faith, but Bermudo remains strong in his convictions, pursuing new... Persuading new, hopeless recruits every day. Okay. I uh, I do have some, some boats in the neighborhood. So I guess I could uh, I could allocate some resources to help them buy a passage. Or could, should I send some troops? No, yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's uh, let's send some boats. You know we're in the neighborhood. Why not? All right, we have arrived at Luca. Beautiful city, by the way. I've I've been there. It's a town, and it's got like it's like round city walls, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very beautiful. Oh, someone died. Burnt at the stake by Kaiser Siegmund. Oh, you. My daughter-in-law. Why did you kill our daughter-in-law, man? You shouldn't have done that. You're our enemy, man. Sigmund the Cruel. You are cruel. You're a cruel man. We're gonna... We're gonna... Talk about your special interest and laugh at you. When you do something wrong. <laughs> Greek Depremacy is now known as the Blind, my brother-in-law. Oh yeah. We're attacking him. Oh, he's really... <laughs> he's really not doing well, is he? Okay, uh, dear grandfather, may you live in harmony and contend with I, Duke Egbert of Lausitz. Unfortunately, you have to decline your proposal for an alliance. Political concerns, yeah, I'm at war, I guess. Oh well. Come on, uh, my daughter-in-law, let's, uh, let's unite. Oh man, my other daughter-in-law, she died. That's too bad. And this guy is he's, he's my, yeah, he's my family member, yeah. He's my grandson. That's cool. We got a Geroffing. On the throne of Saxony. Yeah, there we go, there he is. And too bad this is not orange anymore. <laughs> and soon we will have, oh, not a girl thing, but uh, my wife, a premise lead, on the throne of uh, Tuscany. Steven, Otto, and Derek. So my, oh yeah, my son is leading the army, yeah. Am I uh, leading troops somewhere? Yeah, I am. Where am I then? I don't see myself. I mean, I am 64 years old, you know. I don't think uh, I should be leading troops at my age. So I'm, I'm, I'm content. Oh, we, I think we, we did have a son who was a siege leader, right? Where is he? Is that Otto? No. Dirk, no. Hugo, no. Boris, no. It's one of my younger sons, I think. Oh, I don't know. I guess he might have lost it. Or maybe I, I just looked over it. I don't know. It's not so important. A quick last look. 
Ah, okay. Oh well. We are besieging Luca. Oh yeah, I was talking about Luca. It's a very beautiful, beautiful place. It's uh, I've been there for a few days, a couple of holidays ago, and uh, it's gorgeous. You know, especially in like I was there in like autumn, so the weather is very, very doable. And it used to be a, a republic, Luca, or the, the tiny little republic. You can, uh, so it's in Victoria too, actually. So they uh, they brought it back after Napoleon. It's uh, it's an independent republic, and even uh, you can even see it in the the town itself. It was, uh, I think, there's botanical garden. Now the botanical gardens maybe not, but there's parts of the city walls that were renovated by like a family member of Napoleon, who was the uh, another. Oh, this is a different guy who was uh, who was burning people to death. <laughs> Depot of Bohemia. Oh yeah, he, was, he does not want to be an ally, eh? Oh well. Uh, yeah, which, which was renovated by, I think, a niece or something of Napoleon. Atos is such a gracious host. Such a gracious host. Since some time now, he has become famous throughout the realm for his jovial and welcoming nature. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, oh yeah, I remember him. We hired him to get, like, a, a steward who was a little bit less of a bookworm. So I guess he's, he's living up to that. Yeah, he's a hedonist. 70. We, we need to attack his army. Yeah, here he is. Alright, let's do it. A big battle in Siena. Siena, I, I, I haven't been there. I have been to Florence. Which, I mean, probably many of you know about Florence, but it's gorgeous. It's perfect. It's a bit touristy, though. You have to work out. It, it's, not, it's not a very big town, but it's like on the same scale. Tourist-wise, it's like a Venice or a Milan, but it's a lot smaller. So that's, that's that's what makes it very busy sometimes. But I was there in like April and it was fine. All right, Frisian War for Queen Clara's claim on Tuscany, offer peace. The County of Lucca and the Duchy of Tuscany. My wife will become the new Duchess of Tuscany. Clara the Usurper. Great. Oh, and she also uh, sees the county of Florence. Ah, that's good. So she, she's got a bit of a power base. Very nice. She probably does not want to become my vessel, right? No, I figured. But probably she does want to become Ella, yeah. Of course she does. Great. So another family member strengthened. So my, uh, my, Flo my son Flores has something to inherit. Or not. <laughs> Fratislav Premis Lied. Oh, we should kill him, man. Would we do that? Hmm, I guess not. We can kill him later if we play as Flores. I accept your proposal for an alliance. Yeah, of course you do. The coasts of Achaia. After finally having finally managed to book a passage, through the Mediterranean Sea in order to reach the Holy Land. The Children's Crusade has been forced to an unfortunate detour to Greece after their ships crashed on the shores of Achaia for a terrible storm. Uh, reports from the army are scant, although there are rumors saying that many have started to doubt Bermuda's leadership. And yet this unlikelihood of youths and peasants is still marching onwards to Jerusalem. They are surely in need of more supplies. I must reiterate my support. Yeah, that's not going to help him, I think. I will dispatch letters to the local authorities. You know what? I mean, I, I made most of my money in a crusade, right? So I think it would be fair to to send some money to him. Yeah. Let's see if he succeeds. Stables are built in Vladinger. Training grounds? Yeah. Uh, here as well. And Okay, I guess we are out of money. We are finally out of money. It took us uh, quite some years to spend all this money, but we have, we have now. Ooh, we are almost at 10,000 prestige, man. Man, Dirk, the sword of Jesus. <laughs> You've earned your your, uh, your pension, my friend, you're 65. Uh, your retirement, I should say. For some time now, my son, Prince Ono, has been overcome with fatigue and troubled by persistent cough. All right, let's call up, uh, what's his name? Rahila? Yeah, let's call up Rahila. Oh, I'm infirm. 
My body may be sapless and infirm, but my mind is as healthy as ever. Yeah, I think I think he's done for. Almost. I think we should stop hunting. Can we do that? Yeah, let's just, just in our final years. Let's just do. What should we do? Theology, we're zealous. Yeah, let's do that. Something that's a bit less uh, straining on the old muscles. Uh, let's dismiss our army. Yeah. According to our marshal, Hugo Dirksoon Hulving, the best of Zeeland having frequent troubles with highwaymen, highwaymen and wild beasts in Zeeland. <laughs> a couple of uh, rabbits, maybe. Okay. He suggests constructing a series of outposts along the roads of Zeeland. What roads? <laughs> it's an island, uh, island county, man. The peasantry would feel much safer, and it might even lead to more peasants moving to the county. County. Sure, why not? 20 bucks. I'm pleased to hear. Uh, Friesland is doing very well. Friesland prospers. What is the... Uh, oh yeah, we're flourishing. We're doing well. Friesland also, I guess. No, I put it just prospering. But uh, Holland is flourishing. Fenne is now of legal age. She looks a bit tired. Ah, she's malnourished. She's betrothed. Oh yeah, we, she, uh, we betrothed her to the, uh, the Prince of France. Maybe the King of France wants to become my... Uh, my ally. That would be nice. The traitor. Battlefield betrayal. I, I, uh, <laughs> that's the event where you you, you avoid uh, a duel by pushing someone in front of uh, the sword, more or less. Someone else. Let's form an alliance with you. French? Yeah. King. A real independent kingdom is our ally now. Stables have been built in Vlaardingen, uh, yeah, okay. You have come into the possessions of the Confessions of St. Augustine, a series of tomes detailing the life and times of Augustine of Hippo, a Christian theologian from Roman Africa who lived many centuries ago. That's actually... I, um, I, uh, I, I, I listened to like a, a university course, on uh, open course by, uh, by Yale, on early medieval history. And he talks, uh, the prof professor there, the, he talks about Augustine of Hippo. And it, it's interesting, you know. This guy, um, he, he kind of describes how he came to be a Christian. So he, he kind of describes, like, philosophically how he came to be uh, there. And he kind of describes, you know, okay, I tried this. I, I tried Manichaeism. I tried, like, uh, Arianism. And I tried this and I tried this. And, and none of it quite explained, you know, my predicament. And then he ends up with... Uh, with like, uh, he also describes a couple of like personal anecdotes in there. So he like the time that he stole apples. He's like saying, okay, I, I stole some apples, and I didn't really do it because uh, because I didn't know any better. Because that, that's what what what, what uh, the, the, so that's one one of the schools that he uh, that he he adheres to at first is the Platonists, the, 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 the adherents of Plato, and Plato says kind of like um, you. Uh, if you so uh, so evil is ignorance basically. So he says, okay, if you as long as you are taught how to behave well, or you understand how to behave well, you will do it automatically. And Augustine says, yeah, no, that's not the case because I, I was a child and I stole some apples, and I know I wasn't allowed to. I knew I wasn't allowed to, but I still did it. So how would you explain that, Plato? So that's why how how we leaves the, the Plato school. And he ends up like a, a traditional Christianity, of course, because that's why, why he's a saint. <laughs> he, uh, he gets, yeah, like uh, like papal sort of Catholicism, Christianity. He arrives, finally. So the, the, it's interesting, um, interesting reading. He's one of the, like, the great saints, the great early saints, together with uh, St. Ambrose of Milan and a couple of other ones. Very, very interesting. I read every word. Yeah, I'm jealous. I'm going to do that. Plastic is going to be in your house, huh? Amy of Canada, sure, why not? French Holy War for Canada, he's attacking, okay. At last you have finished your studies of St. Augustine's Confessions. It took many nights of reading, it was only the light of a candle to keep you company, but you do not regret a second of it. Your learning has improved. Okay, interesting, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm increasing my learning. I'm infirm though, that, that doesn't help very much, but... I, I think I might join an order. I know you guys probably thought this would never happen, but... <laughs> um, so we will join the Benedictines or the Dominicans? I think we will add Inquisition now. We won't, we won't join the Inquisition, we will join the Benedictines. Because you know, we're 66. 
we're starting to get to that stage where uh, we're thinking about the afterlife, you know, we're medieval times, so it's gonna happen. Um, oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of hoping that the, the Children's Crusade event will end. Is it, uh, is it here? Hmm. What was his name again? I, I, don't, I don't remember, okay. I kind of want that to finish before we before I end I stop recording. Uh, Hili Gonda Otto's daughter. My Otto Otto's daughter. Okay, yeah, he can he can teach her. I don't care. Otto is still at my court, I guess. Why is he not? Uh... Oh yeah, he's he's married to my uh, my vessel. Yeah, makes sense. So we got a couple of claims. We could we could try to press another claim, I guess. Uh, Chancellor of Kleve, Mayor Erich of Goch, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain. Trying to get enough people to recognize the claim. Okay, whatever. Alright, some bishop is happy with me. Bernard Flamens has decided to go ahead and use a claim on my title despite having nothing more than a laughable and obviously fabricated document. Flamens, eh? Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a family member of my uh, my Chancellor. Uh, Bernard. Uh, Boudewijn. Boudewijn Flamens, yeah. Well, it's not what what's he gonna do? I mean, we 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 were pretty strong. We got like uh, yeah, six thousand uh, k six k troops. Like France has less than us, so we can beat France in a straight up war. And the most powerful vessel of the Holy Roman Empire, as as for King of Bohemia, he's like he's like he's like he's like five, so we are stronger than him. Yeah, I'm quieting down now. <laughs> I'm gonna put it at speed five because I I kind of want to wait. Ooh, this is the this is a great character arc, man. All our life we've been crazy, and we fought we fought countless battles. You know, we 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 sat through measles epidemics. We fought. We 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 gained independence against the Holy Roman Emperor himself, but we never really truly overcame our craven nature. But now, age sixty six, and we're a theologian, and we're sort of overthinking our life. And now finally, we are no longer craven. Man, that's great. <laughs> I couldn't have made that up myself. That's that's great. That's why I, I always enjoy that when uh, CK threw two uh, throws these curveballs at you. County of Iperen. Yeah. We we I, I don't think we'll have an opportunity to press it. I mean, we're sixty six. We're infirm. I think I'm gonna let it go. Maybe later. Maybe when uh, when my son. Uh, my son inherits. How many soldiers does he have? Yeah, we cannot we cannot really beat him yet. Although actually, yeah, we of course our, our ally is the King of France. He, he's got like six. Oh no, he's got uh, three, four or something. Three, I guess. Man, that's terrible. <laughs> I guess he had, oh, yeah, he's fighting a war right now, of course. Yeah, I mean, we might try. I mean, it's, it's less than I thought, 15K. Children, ah, there we go. Children at Nic Nicaea, Nicaea. Despite all the adversities and many attempts to undermine his divinely inspired leadership, Bermudo has been able to march his army all the way to Nakia. With the Holy Land finally within reach, the Crusader resolve has strength strengthened. Bermudo has sent me a message thanking me for my continued support during the campaign and asking me any further help I am able to provide him with in order to prevail against the infidels. With my help and God's blessing, he is certain of victory against the abominable heathens. I mean, we're, we're Benedictine now, right? And we're zealous. We have uh, theology focus. Of course we're going to help him. When time comes, I will join in battle with you. I will allocate more resources to support your fight. I can only offer you my sincerest prayers. There's not much else I can do, I fear. Mm, 17k. We are 6k. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to say, when time comes, I will join in battle with you. Because, you know, we, we, we were in the Holy Land. Oh, incapable. <laughs> I don't think we will survive. Long enough. Hugo is my regent, yeah. <laughs> he finally reached his ambition, you know. He's finally the ruler of uh, of the kingdom of Frisia. Soon, I think, uh, Dirk will die. I think probably when it comes down to it, you know, if Hugo is in charge now, 
and and uh, and, and this Bermudo guy is is, is going to ask him, you know, please join us. I think he's going to say no because look at him, he's arbitrary, he's deceitful, he's cruel. He's going to say no. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't give two shits about these kids. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to playing with Hugo, but uh, I mean he's not inheriting, I guess. Middleburg. Barracks, yeah, okay. And we are really improving our domain here. French Holy War for Granada has ended. King Julien lost. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Kaiser Sigmund the Cruel has declared Holy Roman uh, Holy Roman War for Count Bartholomeus' claim on Brie. On King Julien the Traitor. Oh, oh, the Holy Roman Empire and France are at war again. That's been a long time. You know, under the early reign of, of, of Emperor Heinrich, uh, Emperor Heinrich, the later devil worshipper, this guy, he fought against France quite some times, quite a couple of times. Oh yeah, I forgot how horrible he is. <laughs> Look at all these trades. <laughs> but he died a long time ago. 1104, yeah, 15 years ago. 16 years ago. Can we do uh, a crown law, maybe? Obligations. Oh, I'm in a Regency. Yeah, makes sense. Sweden Doge of Pisa now. Nah. Training grounds. We got another grandchild, Otto Otto Sohn. Okay. We requested you uh, against Duke Michael of Franche Comte and Kaiser Sigmund of the Holy Roman Empire. Declining would cost us 5,000 prestige. Ooh. I kind of don't want to join this war. But I'm, I'm, I don't want to lose 5,000 prestige. That is, that is crazy talk. All right, well, <laughs> then we're going to lose this, aren't we? Well, I mean, I guess we're not going to lose anything. <laughs> he is. He's going to lose Brie. Man, that's, that's right next to Paris also. France is not doing well, huh, this episode. Jeez. Now, if you put it in again, we're not going to be able to claim it. So we might as well stop it. I guess we might, we can have our, have uh, Baudouin and perform statecraft. Okay, where's the army of the, oh, here he is. Yeah, let's, uh, let's join him. Successful Jihad, what? Against, ah, oh, the Byzantines. Anatolia. <laughs> These borders, man. Could, can't you just trade off, you know? Can't you just... <laughs> Can't you just give Jerusalem to uh, uh, to the Fatimids and and and, and Anatolia to the Seljuks? This is, this, this looks terrible. <laughs> Let's get to our buddy. Oh shit, he's already losing. I don't think we stand really a good chance here. Oh shit. No, it's fine. We are helping out. You know, we're not just doing minimal effort uh, things. Wait, man. Wait for me to join you. Otherwise you will lose. You idiot. AI, man. I guess we can do uh, one, one speed slower. Adelheid Otter's daughter? Yeah, I don't care. Oh no, can do it. The angels in Antioch. He does not stand alone. Oh shit, are we gonna join the crusade? Not receiving a vision of the archangel Gabriel, we helped him Lead his army through the treacherous path leading, leading to Ultramer. The children of Bermudo have miraculously managed to reach Antioch before being spotted by the infidels. In spite of the boys' claims that the infidels would forsake the devil, would forsake the devil upon their very arrival without the need for a fight, the heathens occupying Jerusalem have begun mobilizing their army, ready and eager to slaughter the innocent souls marching against them. The world will soon see whether Bermudo was really blessed by the Lord, or if I was unwise to put my trust in this child. He does not stand alone. I mean, he does. Yeah, I'm gonna blackmail him on Hugo, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna join this guy. In the trade of abdominal pain. Okay, uh, Dirk is my. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Dirk is my uh, my sort of my best uh, general. Garilla states that his extensive medical experiences. Ooh, I have a cancer. Oh dear. Do I have cancer? Oh, did we not uh, always follow? 
actually, you know, is this really 18k? No, this is a buck, I think. Yeah, so it's it's 11k. That's still quite good. I mean, we make it. We have a chance, I think. Got ammo of Gent is trying to use up my title. Okay, I don't care. What's he gonna do? <gasps> Big battle. Here's my son. My courtier, Steven van Gorinchem. Oh yeah, I remember him vaguely. I think we picked him up in the Holy Land. And then we got uh, this guy, Rodolf of Flissingen. Major of Flissingen. Ambitious mayor. Yeah, time to prove yourself, Rodolf. <gasps> we are kicking their ass, man. Damn. Nicolaus the Lame. You got nothing. 1400. Rodolf, man. You are proving yourself. Ooh, we did. Ooh, that's. Oh, that's. We, we did lose these two. We might lose here. No, we're, we didn't lose. Symptoms would have troubled, which have troubled you lately, were a sign of something much worse. You have cancer. Oh, damn. I got, I'm incapable and I have cancer. I am not going to live, am I? Minus six. Yeah, I could die any second. Is there anything I can do before then? I'm going to lose a couple of titles, but that's not really a big deal, I think, because we can revoke, revoke them again, because we will have a claim on them, I think. Flores, why don't you? Yeah, I think we were going. We were going to. We're going to invite him to our court. He can see his dad on my last days. My court physician uh, has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains there are several different types of treatment he can offer. My life is in your hands. It really is. I mean, I'm almost dead. I feel amazing. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe I will live to see another day. Although. I still am minus three due to incapable, so I really don't know about that. All right, but the war is going is going better than I expected, actually. Flores, welcome. You're finally here. We left you in the Holy Roman Empire for a long time. You know, oh man, a very long time, I think. Oh, he's, he's got the ambition to gain the title. Well, you will soon, Flores. <laughs> you will soon. Should we make him our regent? Can we? No, I don't, I don't think we can. Ask mid regent? No. But we can make him our seneschal, I guess. Why not? A magnificent cat curled up in its favorite spot by the window last night. Oh man, this is this is turning into a hallmark drama. Oh, poor kitty. My kitty, my kitty died. Should I? Nah, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not like this. I'm kind, I guess. With I have, I have, I have other things on my mind, and I'm, I have cancer. I'm incapable. I'm not going to give it an expensive funeral. Come on. Oh, there we go. Kaiser, where's my? No, oh, the prince. That's my son-in-law. No, my grandson-in-law. No, son-in-law. Be for the prince of France. Oh, we're, we're beating him. We are beating him. Man. I mean, we're not really gaining anything by winning this war, but it is a big prestige boost, I guess. My friend, Duchess of Cornwall. I introduced my friend to Duchess Heloisa. I had high hopes. I hoped they would become fast friends and we could spend our time together, all three of us. I didn't realize uh, she was my friend. Where is she? Oh, here, yeah. Now oh, we're going to make her a uh, special interest then. I remember it was like budding friendship at some point, and we said, oh, we would uh, make her a special character if she becomes our friend, and now she's our friend, so, I mean, she's learned it, it makes sense, I, uh, I'm becoming a bit more learned myself, so maybe I, I, I learned that from her, who knows, okay, yeah, a good, uh, good idea, uh, I know, to uh, teach this, very good, ooh, this is tricky, this is a tricky battle. We're already taking over a river. Ooh, oh no, that's him. Oh, he has no commanders here. That's gonna that's gonna kill him, I think. It's close. Yeah, but no, we we got him, I think. He's got he lost two flanks. Yeah, 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 we got him. Ninety-nine percent. Man, I did not expect us to win this. I, I think really, we helped him win this because I don't think he would would have won without us. No, definitely not. 
we were like half of his army. <laughs> Barracks has been built in Middleburg. Nah, let's leave it for now. Man, I have ruled for what? 1061 to 1123. Damn. There's a good good point to end the episode on is my death, I think. So let's let's play on a little more. I've been recording for one and a half hours, so I should stop soon. But I kinda wanna play until my death. <laughs> Not my real life death. King Dirk's death. Oh we won. Oh okay, great. Is that, uh, did I miss it? Was it in here? Hmm. Oh, I guess he died. Or what? No. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Oh, there's a big revolt. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna help you this time, man. Unless you make us lose 5,000 prestige again if we don't help you. But even then, we're not going to actually fight. <laughs> you have to solve this yourself, man. Your Marshal Count Hugo, okay, whatever. Man, I can't believe I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm 69 years old. City holding a construction. And okay, I don't know why I care. Another one burned at the stake. The Burgundian French, the Zero War over Esquens has ended. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the, the independent... Uh, or, oh, it's different. Okay, I guess. Oh, whatever. Duke Adelbat of Styria has usurped the count. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. He's not a... Like, I don't think he's a real acquaintance of ours. Yeah, another 5,000 prestige loss. I mean... I think we might break the alliance after this. Because we're not going to help this guy out for this. Waltrud Onno's daughter. Okay. He is the... Yeah, Onno's son. And Onno is my youngest, right? Yeah, my youngest son. Prince of Frisia. Yeah, he's related to the... Uh, the the Rurikid girl. Married to the Rurikid girl. I remember. Karol Gerolfing. No, he's already got another daughter, man. That's my great granddaughter, Godila, Karl, Karl's daughter. Oh, he's German. Man, I really should have, I really should have, uh, should have offered him my guardianship because. Oh, there we go. There we go. A long life. But we finally, uh, we finally died. But I think we're going to leave it there. I think that's a good place to end it for now. Uh, next time we will play as King Flores, who has waited on this moment for a long time. Alright, thanks everyone, and goodbye.